guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm coming at you with a pregnancy tag. It's just a really relaxing video, hence I'm in a comfy hoodie and I'm just going to sit down and talk to you guys and just do this tag. I think it's really fun and really cute to document, so if you want to know, just keep on watching. I am going to have my phone throughout the whole entire video because I did just screenshot the pregnancy tag questions off of Victoria Sophia. I will just link her below because this is who I got it from. So I'll just link her video down below if you want to check her out. But I am stealing her questions. I believe she did it with someone else. But I am just stealing her questions. And I am doing it myself on my channel. Because I thought it was a really cool tag. So if you're pregnant out there, I think it's a really cool tag to do. So you guys should do a video and just send it to me on my Instagram or Twitter. And at StacyLeanne1. But I'm going to get right into it. First question is how and when did you find out you were pregnant? I found out with the pregnancy test. And I was four days late. Next question is how did you feel? Well, me and my husband were together, so when we saw pregnant, we flipped out, we both cried, we were super excited, and we were just thanking God for our blessing. We were just really happy and overwhelmed with joy. If I had to wrap up our emotions in one word, it would definitely be joyful. The next question is, how old were you? I am 25 now, and I found out I was pregnant at 24. The next question is, how did you tell your partner? Well, like I said, me and my husband took it together. So it was super exciting. He was very excited. I started screaming. He started crying. It was such an emotional time, but we were both are super happy. And he, like I said, he was there when I did take the test myself. Next question is, did you wait three months to tell people? I did not wait three months. I did have pregnancy announcement pictures. So I was waiting to get her availability and then we'd schedule the day and it was actually raining that day. And she's actually super amazing photography. I will link her down below her website and I will let you guys check out all the pictures she does. She does a really great job and if you're local around here, I would definitely recommend her. But I'm also going to say that we waited about, it was 12 or 13th week, only for the fact that it was raining. I live in Florida, it rains all the time and we were waiting for the perfect day to do it. So the moment we got the pictures, I announced. Some people like to wait three months, two months, whatever it is, but I couldn't wait to tell the world. And I just really, really am excited. I know a lot of people say, oh, well, you should wait until you find out if the baby's okay. And I just really had faith in God that this whole pregnancy was going to be amazing. And I just wanted to tell the world about my baby. Next question is, is this your first child? Yes, this is my first child. I'm super excited and I couldn't ask for it at a better time. I'm super excited and I'm just really happy. I'm actually almost at the end. I am 36 weeks as you are seeing this. So I'm almost there. I can't believe it has flown by so fast. The next question is going to be, do I want more? And yes, I want more. I want about two more. I really don't care if it's a boy or a girl. This precious boy that I'm holding, I really don't care if I get another boy or a girl. It's really whatever comes, comes. I'm just really excited to be starting a family with my husband. It's super exciting. The next question is, what's my biggest craving? Well, I've had so many cravings, but I've been craving since day one has been cereals. I made a video about this. I've been craving so many different types of cereals and I go through moods. Like last week it was Fruity Pebbles and this week it is Cocoa Puffs, which I've had Cocoa Puffs before, but I think it's just like coming around again because I'm just really, really loving cereal. That's what I've been craving. And once in a while I crave like the sour straws candies, but those are my cravings. I haven't had anything super weird or anything. The next question is what's the best part of being pregnant? I think the best part of being pregnant like me, myself, I think it's just the fact that your baby's right there and you can always feel him. Well, at this point you can feel him, but you know he's protected and you know like right now nothing out there in this world is going to hurt him or affect him and he's just comfortable and I think it's super amazing when you just know that your baby is safe. And I know he's not here in this world yet, but to me he is. He's in my womb, he's been in my womb and he's been a person way before he even entered my womb. So just knowing that he's safe right now and I can protect him in the best way possible, I think that is like the most amazing thing about being pregnant because once you give birth, like he is exposed to this world and everything that's going on. So right now I just know he's super safe. Next question is what's the worst part of being pregnant? And I have to say would be like the false contractions I've been having lately. I've had an amazing pregnancy since day one. I did have a little bit of morning sickness, but it was nothing that I couldn't handle. But the best thing about being pregnant, like I said, is just having him safe. But the worst is the false contraction. I really thought I was going into a preterm labor the other day. But again, it was just a Braxton Hicks. But they say the closer you get 
to your due date, they get more intense, they get much stronger, and they start preparing your body. I can tell like that is going to be the worst part of the whole entire thing because it is quite painful. And I did have to use like a rice bag, those rice heating bags for my back because it started getting really, really strong. But I'm just going to say it's the symptoms that you get because have, being pregnant itself, it's such a beautiful, amazing thing. So I'm going to say it's the symptoms. Next question is, will you find out the gender? Well, I already know the gender, so I don't know if this is supposed to be like way sooner but I saw that she did it and she was almost at the end of her pregnancy. But anyway, it says, will you find out the gender? And yes, I already know the gender. Kudos to the people out there who can wait your entire pregnancy and not know the gender. I don't have that type of patience. I would want to know immediately. I found that in like 15 weeks. I have a video on that, so you guys can probably check it out. But it was super exciting finding it out. The moment the ultrasound tech put him up on the screen, she immediately said it was a boy. He's very prominent. It was very there. He didn't try to hide his parts. Or a lot of babies do try to hide their parts. And yeah, so I couldn't wait. No, no way I could wait. No way. Do you have names picked out and what are the stories behind them? Yes, we do have a name picked out and it is Emmanuel. And it means God is with us because we do know that God gave us his baby and entrusted us to take care of him and raise him. And Emmanuel means God is with us. So that's the meaning behind it. And I really love it. I don't have a middle name yet. I'm kind of on a fence with it. So I'm not really sure about the middle name, but his first name is Emmanuel. Next question is what's your birth plan? Well, the first thing that my doctor told me is to not have a plan. You can kind of have a gist of what you want, like epidural, no epidural, water birth, home birth, midwife, you know, that kind of stuff. You can always have that. But when you're going to the hospital, you never know what's going to happen. Your baby can turn to breach. Like right now, my baby's in transverse. I'm about to find out if he turned, which I really do believe I felt him turn the other day down headwards. So I think he's coming, he's getting ready to come. But they say to never really try to have a solid birth plan because labor and birth can be very complicated and it's kind of doing what the baby wants, not what you really want. So I think you can go as far as like epidural, you can make a choice and like C-section, that's not something you really have a choice over. That's something that has to be done. So let's say you want to have a water birth, but then you're trying to go into labor and it's just not working and they have to do an emergency C-section. So try not to really beat yourself up with it or have your heart settled on a plan. I would really try to be open-minded when going into it. Like right now, whatever happens, I'm truly believing that's what's best for me. And the baby so I'm just kind of just going with the flow and going to the doctor's appointments as of right now I should be having a natural birth and I do believe I am going to choose the epidural if I need it I'm not going to feel ashamed or feel like I'm less of a person because everyone's pain tolerance is different and it's out there to help you and cope with it so that's how I feel about all that the next question is breastfeeding am I going to breastfeed I'm not sure like I said and it's a personal choice and I don't want anyone saying, oh, you have to breastfeed, it's the best thing for your baby, or I want you to do what's best for you and your family and your baby. And I think that's really what it's all about. If your baby's getting well fed and is well nutritioned, I think that's what's really important. Some people, I am going to try to attempt with it, but I really need to know more about breastfeeding. I know I'm kind of at the end. I really should know more at this point. And that's kind of my fault for not really looking into it because I've kind of just been going with the flow. Like I said, I try not to have plans set because again, I can always try to breastfeed and it doesn't happen. You know, a lot of things are out there. So I really don't have set plans when it comes to that. But right now I can go either way, formula fed or breastfed. All right. The next question is, do you plan to stay at home? And I do plan to stay at home. I want to be a stay at home mom. I am at stay at home right now. I do stay home. I've been staying home since my whole pregnancy. Since I moved to Florida, because I used to live in North Carolina, I was working up there in uh, the sheriff's department. But when I moved down here, I stopped working. And my husband, he retired out of the Marine Corps. So he kind of took a break while I went to work. And then now we switched again. Now I'm pregnant. So I'm just going to stay home. And I'm going to be able to take care of our baby. While my husband, he works. And he's able to provide for us. So it's such a blessing that I do get to stay home and be with my baby every step of the way. And I know a lot of women can and cannot do it, but I do have a situation where I am able to do it. And I think it's really important to me, but I am really happy with my decision to stay home and be able to be with my baby and just, just enjoy every moment of it. There's two more questions. And the next question is, will you make your own baby food? And yes, I did get a baby bullet for my baby shower, which I really wanna do a review on that once I do use it because I think it's super cool. I've watched so many videos on it and 
you save so much money and it's more healthier for your baby. It's such an amazing thing. So I'm definitely going to make my own baby food. And last question is, do you have nursery ideas and themes? And yes, my nursery is actually completely done. I did just order a vlogging camera because I am going to start vlogging. So I want to start capturing all these moments and kind of put it all together for you guys and, you know, do my labor and my uh, try to get a little bit of my delivery. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to vlog about that, but I'm super excited to be getting a camera and being able to just show you guys more because we're gonna have a big DSLR and it's kind of hard to vlog with that. I am getting a Sony 5100, A5100, which is a great vlogging camera. So I am going to vlog the nursery, but my nursery theme, my crib, my changing table, all that is gray. And I have giraffes, it's like baby giraffes in mint and white. It's really subtle and it's really pretty and I really love it. So that's my theme. I don't have any like crazy theme. It's just like giraffes and it's mint it's white it's gray and it's subtle and i love it and it's super cute so i really enjoyed this tag and i hope you guys do it and if you do just please like i said send it on my uh instagram and twitter at stacy one and i'll see you in my next video bye